Okay, what's up, what's up, everybody? It's your G Arenga. Right now, I want to go on the bridge that leads to United States of America. So, and that is Rainbow Bridge to USA. <laughs> 24 hours. So, let's go and feel America atmosphere a bit. So I'm still with my my brother from another mother in person of Wills. <laughs> wow. Is it not the bridge? Uh, no, it's not the bridge. It's just not wonderful. What? You want to find out? So guys, at the other hand is United States of America. So it's going to find out the procedure. Maybe, you know, I don't have American visa. And I hope and wish that I will get one in the near future. Because America is a dream country for everybody. Hopefully if I get one, then we make, you know, more interesting videos from the USA. Rainbow Bridge. Okay, we can walk on the bridge. Yeah, if you need to have your passport though with you. Do you have the documents? We're, we're not planning to go to the States. We're not going to the States. As soon as, as soon as you go past that door on the bridge, you, you're you required to have your travel document with you. Okay. Because we don't know who you are otherwise. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you guys don't have your passports, you can't walk out on the bridge. Okay. Yeah. All right. So do you, do you don't have them with you? No, I've got my license, uh, nice. health card, yeah. Then don't walk out there. All right. You need to have your proper documents. Uh, in the future, if you have your passport, your birth certificate, you walk I do have my passport with me. You have your passport? Yeah. Are you a visitor to Canada right now? Yes. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. Yeah, I mean, and you have a visa for Canada, obviously. You flew into Canada? For Canada? Yeah, you yeah. flew into Canada. Pardon? You flew into Canada? Oh, yeah. Like in uh, Pearson? Yeah, you can you can walk out there, but your friend can't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to just take some shots and then go back? Just maybe five minutes or yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind waiting. Yeah. There is a toll you have to pay. So when you go through there, there's a dollar toll you have to pay, then you go through that door. So then you just, when you're coming back into Canada, you're going to come through this door and see me, okay? Through that door there. You're gonna come up to the bridge and come in through here. Okay, so I will press what here? Pardon me? What will I do here? You have to pay a toll to go through there. How much is that? A dollar. A dollar? Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> just, we, we, you do have your passport with you, correct? Yeah, my passport okay. is there. Yeah, that's fine then. You yeah. can go through. I'll just be waiting here for you. So, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it here? Okay, I think here. Okay. It's the other side, sir. Is this side? Walk through there, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, guys. Are you entering? Or leaving Canada with, or leaving Canada with, okay. So that's if you are going to to USA. So so that's the Niagara Fall. I just want to walk a bit because I'm not going today. So you can see those that are coming in with vehicles. They go in through that side, and that is the border where they check your document. And if you are going, you come in through this side, this other side. So, my friend is not with his international passport, so he only has his ID card. So, only if you have your international passport with you, that's when you can pass through this place from what the officer said very nice guy
So, I want to get to this bridge itself. You can see the Niagara Fall is over there. Wow, that's Niagara Fall, and this is what this place looks like. This is land border for you. This is the land border between USA and uh, Canada. USA, Canada. So guys, let's move it. I don't want my friend to remain in the cold for long. So, this is Arenga. What you are seeing behind me is USA. <laughs> Hope we get there someday. So guys, let me go back to, to the officer there. Look at this view, I just love showing you guys this view. It's unbelievable. So I'm looking at USA right there. Guys, can you imagine that? Looking at the United States of America right over there. Yeah. <sighs> well done. How is it? You got your shots you wanted? Is that? You got the shots you wanted? Oh yeah, I did. What day are you departing Canada? Tomorrow. You're going back tomorrow? Are yeah. you flying at a Pearson again? Yeah. There you go, sir. Thank you. Have a good one. Honestly, what happened here makes me feel bad to be an African. I'm telling you. I went in through this place. I have Canadian visa and I don't have US visa. However, the immigration officer allowed me in. So you just pay 10, um, I mean, one Canadian dollar, put it there, and at least I'm sure you saw it. So, and I was able to film everything. I filmed everywhere. I came back. Do you know what the guy said? You heard what he said? You got the shots you wanted? Oh yeah, I did. He said, were you able to get your, the, 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 the pictures that you want? I said, wow, yeah. Can you do this in my country, Nigeria? I don't think so. You dare not. And this is part of what we keep talking about, corruption. Because land borders in Africa, African land borders, they are like hell. All the, oh, I'm sorry to say, it's like all these officers that were being put there, they were put there to make money. So no matter what you have or who you have, whatever you have with you, you will still drop something for them. This is so annoying, man. Even within Africa, it's difficult for us to cross, to move from one West African country to another, and yet we have HECOWAS. What is the meaning? What, what is the reason behind HECOWAS? This is so annoying, guys. Look at the officer there. See how welcoming the guy is. What, what, what we take, what we make me to carry a camera in front of an immigration officer in Nigeria? No, tell me, what will you, what, what, what will you say you want? And the reason why they are always avoiding media is simply because of all these indiscipline acts, robbery, 
that is going on. But now, if you ask them, they will form one language, profiling or whatever, they will just say something just to justify what they are doing that is not right. For how long are we going to continue this way? Honestly, this is so annoying. This is so annoying, so annoying. If not for my friend that doesn't have his uh, distance with him, we will have gone there together. And I don't want to you know, just allow him to be waiting here in the cold. So guys, share this video and let me hear your thoughts from me. Just let me hear your thoughts. I live in, I have my US visa. I will have just crossed in there without anybody disturbing me, trying to collect money from me for no reason. And yet you keep saying people are moving away from, from the country. We need to, 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 to do something about the corruption and the bribery going on in that country. Honestly, it's so sad. So that's my boy here. So that's worse for you. Hmm? So what do you have to say? Great. <laughs> great. No, I don't know. Anyway, just, it's great. Condition, it's great. conditioned to live here long enough. I, I guess I don't know the, um, the injustices you guys face. You don't know. You can't know until I, when I've you never, get there. I, yeah, when I get there, I'm sure oh, I'll, yeah, find, yeah. I'll find plenty. <laughs> but I want no. to believe that you have a good experience. Just let me know when you are coming to Nigeria. We'll do. Okay? We'll do. So that you have a wonderful experience. We'll do. Yeah. So, guys, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and... Peace. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. You hear that? Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.